app. So the only reason why we're making a Christmas cake video in November, it's not even Thanksgiving yet, is this guy right here. The only reason we're making our Christmas cake video in November is it requires a French brandy and this is a French brandy. So stay tuned for the video, stay tuned for the vibe and I'm going to show you why I wet, I take this and I moist my Christmas cake until December 22nd with this guy. Crazy Chef, big, big vibe. Like, share, and subscribe. Continually add our alcohol all through November, all through December. So we keep it moist and we keep it covered in our refrigerator. On Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, when you open your container and you cut your cake, voila, what a vibe. Actually, that vibe is going to be a big vibe. Hit that like button. If it's your first time here, hit that red subscribe button. That's why we make the Christmas cake in November instead of in December. Because we want to key up that vibe. We don't want to give it that big vibe. Crazy Chef, like, share, and subscribe. Big vibe. These Christmas cakes that I'm making is a... Uh, it's like especially this one you have to leave it so it like sits there so you gotta leave this christmas cake so it sits there and just resonate so big big bye if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button uh hit that like button we're still working on those likes crazy chef big big bye we're making old english christmas cake so in my mixer, I put three quarter cup of salted, unsalted butter. Then I'm gonna put a half a cup of brown sugar. And we're just gonna let that high. We're just gonna let that set up high and we're gonna go from there. So big big vibe, I said hit that light like button. You wanna hit that light like button? So now I'm going to add three eggs, one at a time. So three eggs, you're going to add them one at a time. So we have one, two, get that bad boy back in there, we let that mix, and then we're going to add egg number three. So I added some nutmeg, some cinnamon, and as I said, I'll leave a detailed list in the description below so you can get it. Uh, some allspice right in there. We add the rind of one lemon, so we put that right in there. And I'm gonna add some vanilla right in there. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of chopped cherries right in there. So my cherries goes right in. And some raisin, some mixed peel, and some fruits, some pineapples, some candied pineapple that we... So this we boiled it previously ahead. And I'll tell you how I did that in the description below. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take 
a spatula and mix all that in in there and then we're gonna add our dry ingredients so this recipe calls for this recipe calls for brandy or bourbon but if you know me my choice of bourbon or brandy is that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freestyle the pouring of my brandy so it's gonna make it so much better so the more the merrier so I put the Hennessy in there and just give it a easy easy mix just like that so easy mix with my Hennessy and then I'm gonna add a cup and three quarters of flour right in there so put all my flour in and a copper tablespoon of baking powder make sure all that goes in there and then all I'm gonna do now right is just mix just fold not mix you never want to mix when you do when you bake you never want to mix so just fold this in there just like that just fold it right in and then we're gonna put that in so that's our mixture then we're gonna put that in our baking tray to put it in our grease baking tray and uh, if you remember this baking tray the first time I used it is when I made my meatloaf wrapped in uh, pork skin so you can go check that out I'll put a link in the description also so my mixture is all set as I said if it's a vibe it's a vibe so now we're gonna pour it in our baking tray just get it all out of there and uh, my friend the spatula will get the rest out so put the rest in there and uh, most people cook it right most people cook this at uh, most people cook this at 350 and then they reduce it to like 200 I'm gonna cook it straight at like 300 all the way for like 45 minutes and then I'll see you so as always I'll see you in the intro big 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 vibe so as I said 345 minutes and your cake should do that so that has been cooled. Let's push back a little bit. That has been cooled and uh, it sat overnight. So what I did is I just pretty much shut my oven off, cool my cake and let it sit overnight. So your Christmas cake should come out like that. Look how beautiful. Look at that. That looks nice. Okay, so the reason you want to make your Christmas cake, right, in November instead of December is, so that's your Christmas cake, right? And this is the magic right here. So this is the magic. You want to take your bourbon, do that, right? So take your bourbon, you want to do that, and then... You want to do this and you'll save this for Christmas so this is what's gonna guarantee you that bourbon flavor so you want to wrap it and save it for Christmas grab button so there we go that's your Christmas cake right there your Christmas cake should come out looking let it focus let it focus and it should come out looking like that 
big big vibe big 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 vibe so as i said always it's all about the intro it's all about that intro so big big vibe that's our christmas cake and that's how you should be vibing on christmas morning so oh let's do it for the intro that's how we should be vibing on christmas morning with this beautiful christmas cake <laughs> 